Bonjour everyone, it's Molly with All Ears and I'm here today with a brand new video and I bet you can tell what we're doing today. We are checking out Disney's newest attraction, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. The attraction officially opens on October 1st, but I'm here for a media preview. So we're gonna get to check out the attraction, the new creperie restaurant, merchandise, everything you need to know about Disney's latest and greatest. I hope you're ready, I hope you're excited. It's gonna be Trey Magnifique. I should not speak French. Remy's Ratatouille Adventure is straight out of Disneyland Paris. It is a 3D trackless ride vehicle attraction. The whole family can enjoy it. There's no height requirement. And it's back here in this new expansion of the French Pavilion at Epcot. So they've got all of this new space. They built in new restaurants. There's also a new restaurant that is both a full service and has a quick service option, the creperie. But most people are very excited because of Remy's Ratatouille Adventure being the brand new attraction. Look at this fabulous fountain outside of the attraction. It's got the champagne bottles popping, a little Remy up there at the top. We're gonna go on a full little detail hunt here at the new area. There's tons of cute little details, but I know what we're excited for, and that is to officially ride Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, so let's get to it. So when the attraction officially opens on October 1st, um, they will be opening with a virtual queue like Rise of the Resistance. That's what will go through the standby line. This will become your paid fancy ride attraction, lightning lane access, and then they're not gonna be utilizing the single rider queue when the attraction first opens on October 1st. But let's go on the ride. So the story of Remy's Ride to Adventure and why we're looking at these different ticket booths right now is we're actually coming into a movie theater to see a film about Remy. Isn't that exciting? We're gonna see a little short film about Remy, which is why it feels like you're going into a theater right now with all of these theatrical details. But then something happens and you get shrunk down to the size of a rat. So right now we're going through the theater section of the queue. This isn't explained, by the way, I asked a cast member. But now I'm telling you, so now you'll know. And somehow, once you know it, we end up on the roof. And look who's here. Hello, Gusto. So now, oopsie daisies, we have ended up on the roof of Gusto's because we're very close to that iconic Gusto sign. He's got those three stars because, as you know, he got docked one and then he died, which means he do got docked another one. But there he is. And we are on the roof. And sometimes, oh my gosh, you can hear all the Paris street noise in here. Sometimes Gusto actually talks though, which is really cool. Bonsoir, and welcome to Paris, this city of light. I do hope you have brought your own life, because tonight, Chef Ali is preparing one of his specialties, which I am certain you will enjoy. Remember, Food always comes to those who love to cook, but not to those who are into dinner. <laughs> so cute. And did you see the hidden Mickey when he put the pants up to his head? But now, through a, an unforeseen incident, we are going to head from the rooftop. Now we are inside an artist loft where you can see this very cute animation they made describing the boarding process of the attraction. And that was made just for Walt Disney World. That was animated just for this ride, which is very, very cute. I was also told by some cast members to look at the art to find a hidden Mickey. So, I'm looking. Oh, do we think it's... Do we think it is under the Eiffel Tower there? Or, I feel like those grapes are like not one, but they could be one. Or are these radishes? Let's confirm. Turns out all the things I thought might be hidden Mickeys were definitely not official ones, so I had a cast member show me. 
There is one on the artist's easel. If you look on the left leg of the easel, um, kind of right where those two pieces come together, you can see a three circle Mickey of that like grayish blue um, color right there. It's very tricky. And the second hidden Mickey, this one's a lot easier to see. Um, if you look at this little table and look at the painting down below next to the signature, there's a hidden Mickey there as well. I am so excited for the cheese. There's supposed to be giant cheese on this ride and I can't wait to see it. How cute is this? So this is where you'll grab your 3D glasses. Again, this is a 3D attraction. It combines large sets and simulation and it's a trackless ride vehicle, which is what they use on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and Rise of the Resistance, that very cool technology. Here I go. So these little adorable rat vehicles can seat up to six guests. Uh, there is a wheelchair car. So if you cannot transfer out of a wheelchair, there is a wheelchair accessible car. Um, it will not fit an ECV. They also have a easy to transfer wheelchair car, which um, you would transfer over, but the doors open up wider if you need more accessibility. So this is definitely one. It's got no height requirement. They really did a good job making this a full family attraction. Um, and I cannot wait to ride. <laughs> Chef Daddy is waiting for you. This way. Get on the move. Is there anybody? Des invités pour le dîner. Yes, what do you want here? Huh? Pour le repas, il est là. Coco vin? No. Simple omelet? Too simple. What?
I just got off Remy's Ratatouille Adventure and oh my goodness, what an adorable attraction. I can totally see why they put this one in Epcot. Epcot needed more rides. Like, let's be honest, there's not a lot of rides in Epcot, specifically in World Showcase. And what a perfect family attraction. It is very, very cute. Now, the one negative I will say, I did get a little tiny bit motion sick. I don't know if it's because I, I just ate at the grapery, um, but I will say the 3D moving did get me just a little bit. Nowhere near as bad as like Star Tours or Mission Space or anything. I would say equivalent to Smuggler's Run in certain scenes. So take that as you will, but it is a family attraction. Anyone can ride it. So let's go over Remy's Ride to Adventure. First of all, it is the cutest ride vehicles literally on the planet. I don't think you could make a cuter ride vehicle if you tried. It is that trackless ride system like Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway or Rise of the Resistance, which is such a cool technology. I absolutely love it. The rats kind of like scurry and dance within one another, which means every time you ride it, you make it a little bit different view of certain scenes because you're going to move about like rats throughout the kitchen and then you enter in different scenes. So you might come in at different angles. My personal favorite scene was definitely the giant pantry. That's a real set where they built out real giant wheels of cheese, which obviously I love, as well as real um, fruit. And uh, But then when you look through the crates and things, you can see little rat eyes looking at you. You can also smell things on this attraction. Now masks are required still right now indoors, so it's a little bit harder. It'll be great once masks um, are no longer required. You'll be able to smell it even more, but you can smell oranges when you get into Remy's kitchen at the end. You can smell him cooking something. It's a really, really cute attraction. So basically you go in to the theater and then through the magic of Disney, um, you've been shrunk down to the size of a rat. You join Remy on the roof of Gusto's restaurant with the spirit of Gusto, but then you fall in just like in the movie Rem Ratatouille. You are then with Remy um, trying to not be caught by Skinner. Linguini's helping you. You'll see um, Anton Ego in the dining room. You scurry about through the kitchen. You actually get spritzed on a little bit by someone that's mopping. You end up under the oven. The oven turns on. It gets warm in there. You end up in the pantry. You scurry about. Um, eventually, you make it all the way to Remy's restaurant which is where of course you are welcome and you end up on the rooftop there so really really cute attraction I'm glad that they added another ride in Epcot I think Epcot needed another ride uh, is this as you know thrilling as a lot of attractions know but Epcot's getting another thrill ride we're getting Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind so I think this is a perfect family attraction to add here in Epcot so we are here with Matt from Walt Disney Engineering. Thank you for chatting with me, Matt. No um, can you just let us know what you do with Imagineering first? Sure, I'm a producer with Walt Disney Imagineering. Excellent, so what did you do specifically with Remy's Ratatouille Adventure? So the role of a producer is we, we partner with the, the creative director and we sort of, the director says what they want the experience to be, how they want the guests to feel, what the story is, and, and we and the producer producers then are responsible for ensuring that you know we get the team we you know to employ the strategies that help us execute on the creative vision so what's your favorite part of the attraction oh uh, my favorite scene is the pantry scene that's a scene where we really push that scale where you've been shrunk down to the size of chef remy and inside that scene there's giant hams and giant fish and all this food that's been oversized to really express that scale but then in that scene you also see hidden little rat eyes and, yes. and you smell oranges it's really a scene that employs all of your senses right and that's what makes you feel like you've been you know placed in this adventure that's inspired by the film Ratatouille by Pixar. So I loved that scene as well and I was very excited to see the giant cheese because cheese is my favorite food. If you were going to eat something in that pantry what would you want to eat? Oh I mean to me that it's the those those scent effects that you smell yeah right? that I mean every time I ride this I get hungry but that scent effect of smelling those oranges okay. and then later on the ride when you smell the the food cooking that's what I was like I, I just it makes me so hungry I want to go out and get a crate. <laughs> well you could yeah, right now. <laughs> Uh, and are there any cool hidden details, hidden Mickeys, little Easter eggs? I know Pixar likes to put Easter eggs in their movies. Are there any here to look for in the ride? Yeah, sure. You'll see a lot of little hidden details, little, little hidden rat details. So you'll see Remy in our fountain behind me. You'll see also Remy in, in things like the manhole cover, uh, little rat footprints that are scattered <laughs> around the area development. Um, you'll see hidden details like uh, uh, Ego has opened up a wine shop, <gasps> or uh, you'll see Chef Skinner's uh, scooter or Colette's motorcycle. Those sort, those uh, little you know details that are inspired by the film come to life here. Really make you feel like you've been transported into Pixar's film Ratatouille. Awesome. Well, thank you for chatting with us, Matt. I just got to ride the attraction. It was absolutely adorable. It was so fun. I think it's a perfect Epcot addition.
whole family can ride this we one, which is great. Right. Yeah, we hope the whole family can come and enjoy this attraction. <laughs> Thank you so much for chatting with us. <laughs> Now that we've been on the attraction, you know I'm going to want to talk about some of the details you can look for on the attraction and in the area. First things first, on the attraction, when you go in through the cinema part, look at the wallpaper. It is super duper cute with Remy and Emil on that wallpaper. The next thing you're going to want to look for is the very cool Pizza Planet Easter egg. Not a lot of people are going to notice this one, um, but in the first major scene of the attraction when Remy and Ghost Gusto are chatting on the roof, look to a window on your right-hand side and there's a silhouette of the Pizza Planet toy truck in the window. That's because in every uh, Pixar film they hide the Pizza Planet truck as an Easter egg thanks to the original Pixar film Toy Story, so I love that they incorporated that into the attraction. Just some cool effects to notice in the attraction as well. Um, when you go over different surfaces, you kind of will rumble at one point. There's different smells you can smell. You'll smell oranges when you're in the pantry you'll smell cooking when you're in Remy's kitchen there's also a great hidden Mickey to look for when you get off the attraction um, in the wall in the cement there's a hidden Mickey which is very cute there's also that hidden Mickey in the queue where Gusto is talking he actually does three different things if you stand in that room long enough he will speak in French he will speak in English and when he speaks in English he actually puts up the two pots he's holding up to his ears uh, or up to his head to make Mickey ears that's a great hidden Mickey um, and then at one point he doesn't say anything but he just gets annoyed that one of the stars is out and he bangs it real quick it pops back on and then it unfortunately turns off again here's another very cool detail uh, when you get off the ride the tiles are big but then right here is when you transition back to being human size because you can see the difference in the sizes of the tiles Let's begin our details of the Remy's Ratatouille Adventure Tour. So we already went through the attraction, saw all those cute ones. You can also see the Gusto sign up top here and it will light up at night. So especially if you ride the Skyliner, it will look amazing. Um, just a little Disney info. They are using forced perspective here, which makes things appear taller than they actually are. They use that on Main Street. They use it all over World Showcase. It's one of Disney's clever tricks to make things seem bigger than they really are. Uh, you have this amazing fountain right here. It is almost identical to the one over in Paris. And make sure you spend some time really looking at this because you'll see little rats squirting water out in the champagne bottles. And don't forget all the way up at the top, you've got your friend and mine, Remy super duper cute. I love this fountain. Check out the detail in the benches around the area. You will see they actually have a little Remy in the benches, which is very, very adorable in these nice benches everywhere. Right around the fountain, you have the very adorable sewer grates. They were custom made for the area. This is a nod to the part of Remy, uh, of Ratatouille, when Remy is stuck on the book. He's got Gusto's book and a broken spatula and he's paddling down the water and he loses his family and all seems lost, but that's when he finds Gusto's restaurant. You probably remember that part from the movie and there is a nod to it right here on the sewer drains. I'm gonna assume from here on out that you've seen Remy's, uh, seen Ratatouille, but I'm gonna keep showing some of the details. This is a little wine shop that opened here. It's not a real wine shop, it's just a facade, but if you look at the name, it's La Cava de Ego, and you might remember Ego as Anton Ego, the food critic that comes and eventually ends up falling in love with Remy's cookies. Um, he made a little wine shop, and if you take a look at some of the products he's serving, first of all, you've got Gusto Filet de Anchovy, and then you've got Chateau Ego, Ego. So he looks like he not only owns a wine shop, it looks like he owns a vineyard, but there are dates on these bottles here. 2007, that's the date Ratatouille came out, um, the Pixar film. 2014, that's the year that Remy's Ratatouille Adventure opened up in Paris. And 2021, you figured it out, I'm sure, the date that Remy's Ratatouille Adventure opened up here in Epcot. Another great Easter egg. You'll notice on this plaque here outside of this building, um, it is the office of health inspector Lassard. That is the same health inspector from the movie you probably remember at the end when Remy and the gang lock him up in the, in the uh, pantry with Skinner. Same one right there. And perhaps my favorite detail of all, it's back in the extended queue. So if you end up waiting a while for this attraction, you'll see it or just come on back here and check it out. Um, Remy and his friends are of course headed to the kitchen and we know that because there they go. Their little Remy footprints are scurrying along. They are right there in that corner and then also over here. And big shout out to James, the cast member who just showed me this. Isn't that cute? 
on the side of the attraction you have two fun little vehicles you can get on them and pose if you'd like here we've got colette's motorcycle and skinner's vespa right here if you'd like to jump aboard one of those for a photo op <laughs> Another great detail. Now, this is one of those things that when you first look at it, you're going to be like, Molly, that's absolutely made up. That's not there. But um, I just had a cast member point it out to me because I thought the same thing. And then now I can't unsee it. So Remy's also in the iron work here and he's running profile. Um, so this Remy right here, you look at his eye, his nose, his mouth, his ear, and then the curl is his tail. Can you see it now? It's a very, very subtle detail, but it's there, and now I can't unsee it. So now this Remy's going that way, and that Remy's going that way. Can you see it? I found some very special friends. Hi, Remy and Emil. Thank you for cooking for me. It was delicious. Did you help, Emil? Yeah? Emil, you're, you're a rat after my own heart, always eating cheese. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I am standing outside of the Creperie, which is the new restaurant here inside the expansion of the French Pavilion. And the Creperie de Paris is both a sit-down table service restaurant as well as a walk-up window. As you could guess from the name, they specialize in crepes, both savory crepes, which are actually referred to as galettes, um, and sweet crepes. So they have a pre fixed three course meal you can do which is actually an appetizer a savory and a sweet crepe as well as a drink it's a great deal they've got several different kinds of both savory and sweet at the sit down portion and then they also have a walk up counter where you can get a couple of the different savory and sweet crepes as well as some drinks to go so great new option here you know i love eating in the france pavilion so i'm excited to go check out the latest location hello look it's me so the creperie is very heavily inspired by uh Brittany, which is a region in france that is known for crepes they are using buckwheat flour, which is what they use in Brittany to make the galettes, the savory crepes. They are also serving drinks that they are importing from Brittany. So um, this is the authentic creperie experience here in Epcot, which a lot of people don't realize that a lot of things in France are made from scratch here in Epcot. They have a huge bakery. They make all those baguettes um, for the, the bakery there. So they make a lot of their stuff in-house as it is, and now they're just adding to it, which is one of the reasons this is my favorite pavilion to eat in. We are inside the brand new creperie. So this is your table service section. There's also that quick service window. Let's take a look at the menu. Um, I'm here at the media event today, so they aren't serving the full menu, but I am gonna get to try a few things. So if you take a look, this is the full menu that they'll be serving when it officially opens on October 1st. Um, and you know we'll be back to eat more things. But you've got um, a couple of different appetizers. There's a soup and a salad. Um, the galettes are the savory crepes. They're made of buckwheat. There's a classic uh, poulet, which has got chicken, chevre, which is goat cheese, semel, a ratatouille, of course, and a savoyard. savoyard? I can't pronounce all this. I keep just trying. Um, and that one looks amazing. It's got caramelized onion and bacon and ham. That one, I will be eating when um, this opens up for real, for sure. Then you've got your dessert, your sweet crepes. They've got the gourmand, a banana one, um, a peach one, pear, apples, and then you can do some add-ons. Um, oh, oh my gosh, you can add a shot to any crepe. Hell Low. Um, and then there is a prefix menu they're gonna do and you would get to choose the soup or the salad um, one galette one dessert and a drink um, including an alcoholic beverage if you want for $33 that's a great price for a three course sit down meal in Walt Disney World oh my goodness um, and then they are very proud to serve French hard ciders actually made from Brittany which is where galettes are um, uh, very popular. Uh, they import the ciders from Brittany. They grow a lot of apples there, so they imported the ciders from there, so you would get authentically French hard ciders. Um, and there's four different ones, ranging from sweet to very dry. Uh, there's also a couple of French wines. They have some French beers, French coffees, water, drinks, and uh, there's a look at your crippery menu. My savory 
crimp has arrived, which I should use the proper word. It's a galette, um, and these are made out of buckwheat, which is a very healthy carbohydrate. They wanted to make everything here as authentic as possible, so this is what they use in Brittany, a region of France that's very well known for their crepes, and they're called galettes. Um, and buckwheat flour, they call it gluten-friendly, um, and I talked to some of the cast members here and the, and the culinary director, and he said that's because it's made in a plant that has gluten products, um, so they can't necessarily call it gluten-free, but they can call it gluten-friendly. Uh, this is the classique, so inside this one is ham, Swiss cheese, and then of course you've got this delicious egg, which I cannot wait to run all over it. I am also trying um, one of these ciders. This is the Demi Sec. This is a semi-sweet hard cider. And again, remember they're importing these all from France so that they are authentic th to the experience. They are made from apples in Brittany. Um, so you are gonna get the full authentic French experience when you are eating here at the Creperie. But let's get into this egg. I'm very excited about it. Oh yeah. And the culinary director told me you gotta you gotta break it and then spread it all over. This is the authentic French way, although I presume they eat more delicately than I do. And you gotta get the egg all over every bite, not just the middle pieces. Bon appetit! Oh my gosh, it's just as fabulous as everything else in this pavilion. You've got that warm, warm, gooey, runny egg, which I absolutely adore. And then you've got this very delicious, you can tell it's high quality Swiss cheese, and then the warm ham. I wasn't sure how I'd feel about the buckwheat, if it would have a unique flavor. It just tastes like a carb. It, it really doesn't have a very strong flavor of anything, so don't be concerned about buckwheat if you haven't had it. It just tastes like a, a wheat or an oat or something. And then it's got that melty cheese and the salty ham and the runny egg. It's perfect, and I can't wait to eat all of these different grapes. Also, let's cheers to grapes. That is perfect. I'm not normally a big cider drinker on their own. It's usually too sweet for me, which is why when I go to like the UK pub, I normally get a snake bite, and I ask them for less cider than beer because I don't like super sweet drinks. Um, but this does taste like apple juice, and it is semi-sweet, but it's it's definitely not as sweet as most American ciders. And it just tastes kind of like a boozy apple juice, which I'm into. For my sweet crepe, I am trying the gourmand, which is house-made hazelnut chocolate spread. No Nutella here, friends. They are making this stuff in-house. Um, some whipped cream, and it's got some little crunchy pearls on it, and it looks fabulous. That is fabulous. Okay, I have a confession. I don't, like, love Nutella as much. I don't, I think it's a little hyped up, but this is very clearly not Nutella. It has the same wonderful nutty flavor from the hazelnut, and it's but it's a lot lighter, it's a lot thinner, it's warm. And then you've got this fresh whipped cream and the little crunchy pearls add a nice texture. And this is just perfection. I cannot wait to come back and try the caramel on these um, apple one or add a shot of liqueur to some of these. But this is really, really delightful and I'm kind of impressed. As with any great new addition in Walt Disney World, you're gonna have a lot of merchandise. And lucky for Disney, but not my wallet, Remy is very, very cute, which means there's very, very cute merchandise you can buy for this attraction. We're gonna scope it out right now. Now, some of this merchandise we saw earlier this year, it came out into the locations in the France Pavilion, um, but there is some new merchandise out at this little cart here by the attraction that I haven't seen before, so let's check it out. Um, this sweet little guy, this has already existed. This is a plush Remy that speaks in both English and French. I actually already own a Remy, um, but I do not own this cheese plush Remy and a meal, and they're popping out of the cheese and like, I'm an adult and I want that. Um, how cute is this little kid's hoodie that the hood is, I mean, stop it. Stop it right now. That is obnoxiously adorable. We also have these cute little Remy and Emil remote control, wearable remote control buddy. This is a chef hat. It's $39.99 and it lights up and there's Re Remy's in it. Okay. That's the coolest hat ever. 
There's also this little chef set that we've seen before. Um, I, as a child, loved like my little kitchen set. It's $39.99, but that is like a little kitchen play set, and it comes with your little Remy and your little chef outfit, so, and what, the knife, and you can cut all the little vegetables. Oh my gosh. Very importantly, there are Remy light up cheese necklaces, and then of course the little chef ears. Look at all this adorable Remy merchandise, and I have Elisa here who's a cast member, and she's gonna show us everything. Some of the items that we have, we have this our RC bucket, so it comes in both meal and Remy, and it is super fun. <gasps> Service, your t-shirt, your refrigerator. That's amazing. So it's it's the cheese. Yeah, so remote control cheese. Very fun. We've been on the attraction. These are the attraction vehicles. So this is our toy. It comes in the three different colors, just like you see in the attraction. And it has a sound feature. So it'll play the music that you hear. And it will actually kind of like scurry around too. So just like you do in the attraction. Oh my gosh! That is so cute. My nephews are going to freak out over that. I just found their Christmas present. <laughs> I hope you're not watching. Actually, I hope you are, but pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> it's a great ornament that has front and back. Oh it's gosh. super fun. And then, of course, you know, we have our t-shirts and apparel with, uh, and onesies with Emil and Remy and their love of cheese. And then this glow necklace. I think we're in daylight right now, but I can't wait for nighttime to happen and this to light up and be really fun and see uh, Remy hanging off the bottom of it. All so cute. Our talking plush. So this one is really fun. Uh, Remy speaks both English and French. He's so a fancy rat. Yeah. <laughs> Which paw you press and it will, it will talk to you. <laughs> I know it's a little hard to hear. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. So we're super excited to have our like cheese board and cheese knife, oh, as well as our no. dessert plate. So definitely um, can take that, that cheese che life home with you. That cheese board. I love cheese. So I am much like Remy in that way. First mode, it's just the front silhouette. Again, Remy's kind of in there pulling your hair, helping you to cook. Just our second, dancing. Yep, our second mode will then show up different silhouettes of Remy. So you can walk around just with the silhouettes kind of going. And then the third one, you can hear the music starting. Yes. It's really the full experience when you're wearing it. Yeah. And again. And then he pops up on the top. That's my there favorite it part. It's so cute. <laughs> this is adorable. And then you can have it on the, on the last mode just pop up with no music. And he's just walking around. He's yeah, hanging out. hanging out up there. So while you're walking around, everybody can see Remy up the top of your head. You've got a Remy purse here. I think this is Lounge Fly brand. No, it's just Remy's Ride to Adventure, but there's that cute little wristlet. I could cry. And then this is the section that I think is super duper cute. You've got these amazing little kitchen spatulas. I'm absolutely going to add one of those to my kitchen. Um, you have this very cute mug where there's a little spoon in the tail for to stir your tea or your coffee. You've got a wine stopper, a kitchen timer, um, cute little keychain. And then I love, love, love the cheese set. You've got a keychain with a meal and some cheese special pin. Um, and a magnet and then i love all this cheese stuff there's literally a cheese board which i cannot believe is so cute with this remy cheese knife the rolling pin the little plate but that cheese board is gonna come home with me looking at the menu at crepes uh importeur this is the walk-up window here um and they do still have some galettes as well as crepes um and as well as ice cream and some drinks these are not the same ones that you're gonna get on the inside at the table service for the most part they've got a cream of brie cheese a ratatouille and a bechamel cheese and ham um, they've got a couple of sweet ones including ones with ice cream hazelnut butter and sugar red berries plain ice cream a couple of the ciders that they are so known for here as well as some other french drinks um cronenberg which is a great beer mimosa wine so a nice little walk-up window for something to eat here is my haul from the creperie walk-up window we got a lot of delicious things to try um first up this is the ham and cheese and bechamel i'm super excited about this one because if you know me you know i love that croissant with the ham cheese and bechamel from the french bakery so this is like the crepe form of that uh, this is the ratatouille-based um, galette, which obviously, if you're in Remy's room, you know, it would be rude not to eat ratatouille, frankly. Uh, we've got two more of the ciders. This is a sweet one, and then we also have the dry one. This is the um, 
butter sugar crit, but it's got vanilla soft serve on it. You can do vanilla chocolate or swirl soft serve on there. You can also just get ice cream if you'd like. And then last but not least, this is the one I'm most excited about from the walk-up window. This is that cream of brie galette. So super jazzed to try all of these. First up, before it melts completely, even though it's pretty much already there, I am digging into the ice cream crepe. Now this is one you can get outside of the France expansion because they've always had a little crepe stand um, right outside in France. And you could have gotten this one there, but now you can get it here too, so it's very fancy. All right, here we go. Hmm. Simple, delicious, fabulousness. It's just butter and sugar and delicious egg batter, vanilla ice cream, but it's like the best vanilla ice cream you'll ever have in your life. So if you want a simple, fabulous treat, that's a good one, but not super unique to this area. So let's get into the cheese related products. This is Remy's Ratatouille. So you got to eat one if you're here. Um, it's got eggplant, zucchini, and onions in there. And then of course, all of these are using that buckwheat flour that is uh, typical of galettes in Brittany, France. Okay. You know to make that better? Jeez, not the point. Um, it is full of flavor. Those are fresh vegetables being used in there. So it is bursts of flavor. I'm getting strong hits of the tomato, of the zucchini, um, lots of fresh herbs and spices in there. I think Remy would be very proud of this one. And if you're a plant-based eater or so, a, a vegetarian, I think you're gonna really enjoy this one. It's got a lot of great flavor. And I think what would be really good, I'm gonna do this in a moment, is to get a bite of a cheese one and a bite of that one all together. I think that's gonna be a real win. Next up, the ham, cheese, and bechamel. It is so creamy and delicious looking already. Mm. It is fabulous, no surprise. It's that creamy, buttery um, bechamel sauce that they use in the bakery. And then you've got fabulous cheese, that salty ham, all in the buckwheat flour, which has a nice like crispness to it, almost from being cooked on the special crepe cooking surface. I don't know the official name. I'm very sorry. Uh, but that one is excellent and I would recommend that to anyone who likes ham and cheese. That one is probably your safest one for your picky eaters, but it's it's A+. plus. That's just what I love about the French um, pavilion food in general. It's always uh, simple deliciousness. It's really good ingredients, really good flavors, but they're always perfection. And last but not least, the brie cheese galette. I have been dreaming about this since I saw the menu. All my dreams have come true. It definitely is very good quality brie cheese. It has got that little kind of like kick that brie cheese has. It's got that strong brie flavor. Um, it's super duper creamy. I want to like drench this on things. I could eat a hundred of these probably. This one is definitely my favorite with the ham and cheese close by, but I'm going to put a bite of the brie cheese one with the ratatouille one and see what kind of concoction we can create. Look at this. Look at what we've done. Look at what we're creating together. Now that's a good bite right there. Cause you got the fresh produce, the herbs from the ratatouille one, but then you've got that creamy brie cheese. That's a good bite if you want to smash those together. I highly recommend it. Trying another one of the ciders. Again, you can get these at the table service as well. And they are imported um, for the France Pavilion from Brittany, France, made from Brittany apples. Mm. So this is the sweeter one. It's definitely sweeter than the one I had inside. Um, and it tastes like apple juice mostly so if you are a sweet drink fan I think you'll enjoy this of course you have to love apple juice a little sweet for me I liked the semi-sweet one I had inside more but let's give the uh, dry one a whirl I feel like this one's gonna be my favorite oh yeah now that is very dry compared to either of the other two it's um, not sweet at all it mostly just tastes like cider a little whisper of apple in there but it's very refreshing on this hot day this one's my favorite, but I love that they have a whole range from a uh, semi-dry, dry to sweet. Overall, I think Remy's Ratatouille Adventure in this whole area is a great addition to World Showcase. I love that we added another eatery that is gonna be both similar and foreign. It's gonna be a little bit more unique than crepes maybe you've had before, but it's still a crepe. It's still something I think everyone will enjoy. And I loved, loved, loved the creperie. I can't wait to try more different crepes as it officially opens on October 1st. As far as the attraction goes, I do think it was very, very cute. Um, it is not as technologically advanced as, say, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which uses the same technology. And the 3D did throw me a little bit, but overall, I think it is honestly a perfect family attraction. Everybody's going to love this one. It's super duper cute, and it's a nice long attraction. Like, it is 
three to five minutes were how long my videos were filming through that attraction, depending on which of the queue and stuff I got. But it's a nice long attraction. There are some really fun moments in the attraction, like going into the pantry is for sure the coolest moment. And I think everyone will really enjoy this one. It's not a big thrill ride. It's not gonna blow away, you know, people that are expecting the, the most technologically advanced ride Disney's ever done. That's Rise of the Resistance. So I think we're gonna have to wait for Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind for another like shockingly technologically advanced attraction. I do partly wish it wasn't in 3D and then it was real sets like Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway just because 3D does make me a little squeak nauseous, pun intended. Um, but I think it, overall it's a very cute family attraction. I love the trackless ride vehicle technology. So I really think it's a very wonderful family attraction, perfectly placed right here in France in the World Showcase. We have so much to look forward to in the coming weeks. We've got a Halloween Horror Nights video coming out very soon. We've got the 50th anniversary coming up, so please make sure you're following our newsletter, following us on social media at All Ears Net. Um, leave a comment of specifically what you want to see. We've got Genie Plus to figure out all together, so we've got a lot coming. Thank you so much for following. In the meantime, friends, rate, review, subscribe. I will see you next time, and I'm Molly, and it's been magical. Au revoir! <laughs> Want to see more of my videos? Click over here. Want to subscribe? You can do that right here. And also, ring that notification bell to make sure you get instantly notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for following. See you real soon.